All right. So that is the C major two octave scale and arpeggio on um, for violins. And it starts on third finger on the G string and you're gonna shift on the A string. And the last note in first position every time is C on the A string. So you, you will always play one octave of everything, the scale or the arpeggio. You'll play one octave of each in first position. And then the second octave will be in second position or in third position. So I really like using this scale as the first shifting scale because it does use pattern one and then pattern two, which is really nice. So if, if you notice as you shift, you'll move through the patterns forward. If you don't shift, you'll end up moving through the patterns backwards, which is kind of funny. All right, so let me show you that again really slowly and then I'll practice the shift with you, with you, five times. I'll practice the shift for the scale and I'll show you how the shift for the arpeggio is slightly different, um, but it's really the same thing. Um, and I'll practice that one with you as well. All right, so we start here on our third finger. Okay, then we um, are here at the first tape and we shift right there. So. practice that shift together now. What I would do is, remember there's two steps to shifting. One, the first step is to play it in first position so you can hear where you're going, okay? And it's really important that you use your first finger and you keep it on the string so that you're not, you're not sliding on the second finger here, you're actually sliding on the first finger. But obviously you don't want to hear that sound so you're gonna slide very lightly and you want to make sure your elbow is supporting you so let me show you that from afar step one play C and then D in first position now use the first finger and slide lightly you could still hear my shift because I wanted you to hear where I was going um, there's a way to get very very detailed with shifts but I'm gonna save it for later. Right now, I just want you to understand it and get the shift sort of clean. If, you st if it still sounds messy for now, that's okay, okay? So here we go, three more times. First position and then the shift. shift up my elbow comes in towards the center of my body a little bit and when I shift down it comes out just a little bit and it's really small your first finger to slide very lightly and then you're supporting it with your elbow that's what's really important if you don't swing your elbow in and out every time you will injure your shoulder and I really don't want that to happen to any of my students so please make sure your elbow is swinging freely it's a very small swing it's not like craziness so very small swing and that means your shoulder is relaxed and fluid okay we don't want to have any jerky stiff motions okay nice and smooth all right now here's the arpeggio okay and that one actually has the same shift the shift is still first position to third position but instead of using our first finger to slide to the d we're gonna use our second finger so we slide to the E because the arpeggio just is C, E, G, C, E, G, C, okay? So we don't wanna play the note D anymore for the arpeggio, it's just C, E, and G, here it is. C, E, G, C. And now we do shift here. And then you can check it with your open E and make sure it matches before you play fourth finger G. 
and then the high C, which is the third finger. And I have a C string, so I can check it. But if you're playing violin, you don't have a C string. So you can just listen to that and make sure it's right. And that should be finger pattern two up there. And the notes are four, it goes two, two, four, three. Three, four, two, two. Three, one. Three, there you go, made it all the way. All right, let's practice that together now and we'll be done with this lovely video. Here you go. We're just gonna practice the shift a few times and I would recommend using your open E to help you. Oh, sorry, I forgot step one. Play it in first position, then shift. And I checked it with my open E and I noticed it, it was flat. So next time I'm gonna try to go higher. And again, my elbow is supporting me, here we go. slide at first. It really is. At that time I'm starting to get really in tune. Notice that my elbow is supporting me and notice that when I slide it's lighter and eventually you can make it lighter and lighter and lighter and eventually you won't hear the slide at all. But at first what I really want is for it to feel gentle and for your elbow to go with you on the journey. If it doesn't feel gentle, then you can't really practice it fast because you're just going to hurt yourself. So go slow, make it gentle, and make it correct by using the elbow to support you. Oops, I forgot step one. Let's do two more of those and then I'll show you one more time slowly the arpeggio and then we'll be done. Here you go. Two more times. again on that one I missed it but it's okay if you do miss it but you know how you missed it it was it too high or too low that's still a positive okay so if you do get it wrong make sure you try to notice was I too high was I too low and next time you can do it better okay so there's a little quick explanation of C major I'm gonna play it one more time um, and actually I'm going to use my violin so you don't get confused by looking at the five string. So I'm going to play it one more time on my little violin here and I'm going to play it like this so you can watch my fingers because I know that's helpful for some people as well. So here we go. C major starting with the third finger. <laughs> which is open G, first finger E, and second finger G. Sorry, second finger C. G, E, C. And then you don't play the E string, so that's a nice chord. All right, I hope that helps. Sorry, my shifts were kind of messy. I took the chin rest off this, and it was really hard to play. So I hope that helps a little bit with the key of C. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I'd love to make you another video to explain.